Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then my name is Eve Hemingway and I currently live in Vietnam with my Vietnamese partner and my three-year-old son. As you might know already, Vietnam has been out of lockdown for about a month now. So in this video, I'm going to show you clips around the city and just show you what the difference is compared to this video and the previous video I made a month ago when the lockdown was just lifted. So yeah, if you had seen my previous video, you would have seen how quiet and how many shops had closed in Saigon. And actually, the government did announce that just in Saigon, 18,000 local businesses had to shut during the first quarter. But now, even where we live, there's small shops popping up all over. You see a lot less leasing signs outside shops now and more shutters open. I did actually read somewhere that the government is helping out small and medium businesses to open but I know that sometimes things are said and actually in reality they're different so if you have a small business in Vietnam or you know someone that does or you know about this procedure is the government helping out these small businesses? I don't know, you tell me. But yeah, it's really nice to see now that cafes are getting actually really busy and social distancing is definitely not a thing. Just my daily commute to work is back to normal. <laughs> Another big difference is that the amount of flights that we see per day now is just so many. Considering the only flights operating at the moment are the chartered flights coming back from other countries and domestic flights. But we live right next to an airport and yeah, there's flights literally going up all the time. Okay, so just quickly, I did come out to film what it was like with the planes going over and how many there were, but honestly, it is so hot and I've only managed to capture one. So I think I'm just going to upload the flight schedule to the clip rather than planes going over. <laughs> Which is obviously a huge difference because during the lockdown you were not even allowed to exit your city and go to another part of Vietnam. In fact, they even advised you not to even leave your district. So, so Vietnam is actually encouraging people to travel within the country because they've opened up major tourist destinations like Ha Long Bay and Phu Wok and just big resorts and all these resorts are giving really good discounts and yeah, they, they want their economy boosting just like every country does. But honestly, I do think it is really safe to travel in Vietnam right now. There has been more cases in Vietnam, but these are only from Vietnamese nationals coming back to Vietnam because before Vietnam told everyone just to stay put, but now they are bringing back Vietnamese from overseas and bringing them back here. And as I said in my previous video, everyone that comes back from another country into Vietnam is quarantined for 14 days. But I do have a question for you guys. If you do know this or if you know anyone that has come from abroad in the past month, when they arrive in Vietnam, are they quarantined in a quarantine facility like a, a camp? or are they quarantined in hotels? I know one of my friends that went back to China, they were quarantined in a hotel. So yeah, I'm wondering where are people quarantined? Like I can imagine that they are not just sending people home and just trusting that they will stay inside for 14 days. Also, there is only one person in Vietnam that is critically ill and that person is a British pilot who flew for Vietnam Airlines and then he came into the city to have a drink at a bar who I know a lot of my friends went to that bar 
And just from that case alone, it seemed from then that was when the whole city went into lockdown. But yeah, the British pilot at the moment is on life support. But the Vietnamese government is doing everything they can to save him. There's been reports that there's been hundreds of thousands of dollars spent on trying to keep him alive and recently there's been a report that he needs to have a lung transplant and I did think it was quite funny because a lot of people, a lot of Vietnamese people came forward and said ah I can give my lungs to, to this pilot to save him but the hospitals were like ah, unfortunately at this time we can't take lungs from living donors. I don't know why I'm laughing, I just, it's just so incredibly nice that these strangers would offer an organ to save this man's life and just honestly Vietnamese people are the nicest people in the world. So one thing which has been mentioned briefly but I've not seen many articles in English talking about it and that is next month Vietnam is going to open the borders to 80 countries. So this is the website that I normally use as my main source but it says that e-visas will be issued to 80 countries and it has a link and on this link it lists all the countries. I assume without a doubt that these people coming into the country are going to be quarantined but that's why I asked you before if you know where people are quarantined. So you can come by land, by sea or by plane. But that's a lot of borders that are open to try and quarantine everyone. But everything that's happened with Vietnam and how they've handled the situation, I trust that they know what they're doing when they're open the, opening the borders to all these countries. But yeah, definitely stay tuned for that update in a month's time. Okay, so I've left this one to last because I do want to rant a little bit. So as I said in the lockdown lifted video, I talked about how schools were gradually opening and it was the most important years that went back first, so those with exams. And then gradually over this month, other grades have been going back. And now we are in June, that's when Edward, my son, he's three years old, he's allowed to go to nursery now. So this was like the final category of ages that were going back and yeah, so they started with the oldest and then went down to the youngest, which makes sense, right? So why is the UK government allowing nurseries to be open on the same day that Vietnam is allowing nurseries to be open? It does not make sense to open up nurseries and primary schools right now in the UK. So during this month I've been teaching seven and eight year olds and they do not know how to social distance because they're only kids. They are running around chasing each other. They are touching their masks all the time. They definitely don't know the two meter rule and honestly they are just excited to be back and to see their friends again. So things were definitely a little bit chaotic in the classroom when we first went back for the younger kids because they don't know the precautions, which is why it does not make sense to send the younger children back. I just wanna say to you guys from the UK, just because the government is allowing you to meet up with six people outside your household as long as you keep a two metre distance. Just think about how the government has handled it in the UK so far. Do you really trust what they say right now? Because if I was there, I definitely would not. I know that they are allowing you to have this freedom and yes, it's very exciting that you're allowed to leave the house again, but just be cautious. The virus is still out there and yeah, that's all I want to say on that. I'm, I feel like honestly I'm in a bubble in Vietnam and 
everything's back to normal, everyone's going back to work and people are travelling and then I go to read the media in the UK, I listen to my family friends talking about their situation right now and it just makes me so, so scared for everyone in the UK. Just do what you think is right and <sighs> stay safe. But yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to Vietnam and yeah, I am so incredibly grateful to be here and to go and live life as the new normal. Because this video is only talking about Saigon, I am very interested to see what the rest of Vietnam is doing like right now. Where are you currently living? Leave a comment down below. Also, if there's any New Zealand listeners out there, then please leave a comment down below because I'm so interested to see how, how New Zealand is at the moment because I feel like they are doing better than Vietnam right now. They have... The last I read, they only had one case. It's just, it's nice to see the world slowly healing itself. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to see more videos around Vietnam. And yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.